in terms of numbers, we have a lot of women in rheumatology and that number has been increasing as, as more fellows and residents are women physicians. Um, so I think right now there's about 50% uh, rheumatologists are women, which is exciting. Um, but more importantly, are they getting these leadership roles and how do we get them there? And I think that's an important uh, distinction. I think um, that, um, as I mentioned, mentorship is important, but also beyond mentorship, sponsorship is really important. So not only do we need to tell people, hey, this is, you know, help them develop their vision and help them along their career path, but we actually have to introduce them to our networks of people, really support them, promote them, not just tell them, you know, write a paper or do some research, but really get them on the papers and invite them to do presentations, uh, nominate them for awards, really help boost them into these positions of leadership. Um, otherwise, I think it, it becomes just a really uphill battle, battle and you need to have uh, not only just people that inspire you, but you need people who are going to invest in you and help you get to those positions um, of leadership so you can then bring other people along with you.